Hello and welcome to the Alternative Premier League Awards 2016 to 2017. I'm your host, Jim Daly, and I'm going to be handing out awards to players, fans, and anyone involved in the game who has really impressed me in the last season. It's great to see so many people here tonight. We've got people from all corners of the footballing community and some famous faces. And of course, over there, there's some Wenger out protesters. So let's get on with the first award of the night, which is for Chant of the Season. Yes, plenty of nominations for this award with some witty chants up and down the country all season, but the winners are... West Bromwich Albion, congratulations for this chant against Man City. Yes, when they were in possession, they chanted, we've got the ball, and then seamlessly progressed to we've lost the ball when they inevitably lost possession. And the reason I like this particular chant, it is a subtle dig at Tony Pulis's tactics. On to the second award of the night, which is for the best use of banners this season. We've seen all sorts of banners, from planes being flown over grounds to banners inside stadiums. But the winners, and I think you know who it's going to be, by unanimous decision is... Arsenal, of course. Congratulations. Yes, they've got super creative with their banners this season. Every week, you can see some sort of different banner at the Emirates and at away games. It's a great effort. Congratulations, guys. The next award tonight is for the most well-travelled protesters. And I think we can all agree there's only one group who are going to win this again. Of course, it is... It's Arsenal. Congratulations, guys. Two awards already tonight. Yes, wherever you go around the world, there are now Wenger out protests at pretty much every sporting event listed. In fact, you've probably got the least chance of seeing one at an Arsenal home game. Now, you could argue some of those Arsenal fans previously mentioned might be up for this award, but they're not. Because the winner is... Chris Rolandus. Yes, Chris is a Barcelona fan who lives near the new Camp and left that game against PSG early, thinking that the tie was over so he can get home and beat the traffic. Of course, Sergi Roberto scored in the last minute and Chris missed probably one of the greatest comebacks in football history. It's not all bad news for Chris, though he does get this award tonight and of course he did beat the traffic home that night. The next award is for Best Mid-Game Snack and it's between two nominees. There's Marcos Rojo for eating a banana and Sutton United goalkeeper Wayne Shaw for eating a pie. This one was hotly contested but I can reveal that the winner is... It's Wayne Shaw for eating a pie. Congratulations mate. Yes it was non-league's most famous 15 minutes of fame going from an absolute unknown backup goalkeeper to the most famous pie eater in football overnight and then being sacked by the club. Wayne, we hope this award will be some consolation. The next award is the best use of free time from a footballer this season and the winner is Christian Burgess of Portsmouth. Yes, the Portsmouth star tweeted when a game was cancelled that it had nothing to do, so a local coach called Will Chitty jokingly invited him to help with an under 12 training session. And 10 minutes later, there he was helping out. Christian, fantastic use of your spare time, well done. While most footballers are playing FIFA and cheating on their girlfriends, Christian is using his time to put back into the community and that's why he's won this award tonight. Congratulations. The penultimate award tonight is for the most random sponsorship agreement. And the winner is... Wes Morgan of Leicester City. Congratulations, Wes. Yes, the Premier League winning Leicester City captain signed up with Captain Morgan's rum to have his very own special bottle made this season. And in some particularly weird details in the contract, it stipulates that upon ordering a drink, Morgan must turn to face the patrons of the bar, extend his arms to form the shape of a Y and shout, there's only one Captain Morgan. Well, actually, Wes, there's clearly two. He's also contracted to buy rum and coke for every single person in a bar that he walks into. What a man of the people. Congratulations, Wes. And the final award tonight goes to the classiest retirement from football. And the winner is... 
Xavi Alonso. Yes, the coolest man in football retired this season and did it in the classiest way possible. He tweeted a photo of himself waving goodbye with the caption, lived it, loved it, farewell beautiful game. A classy exit from a classy footballer. Well done, Xavi. Yes, those are the alternative Premier League awards, even though some of them weren't actually Premier League, of the 2016-2017 season. Comment below with your nominations for other alternative awards from this season. Like the video if you enjoyed it, and if you haven't yet, hit subscribe for regular football content on my channel. Those are the end of the awards. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Drinks are on Wes Morgan. <laughs>